on these picnic sites, you, you meet nobody. But there was two hikers coming towards us, and the Queen would always stop and say hello. And it was two Americans on a walking holiday. And it was clear from the moment that we first stopped, they hadn't recognised the Queen, which is fine. And the American gentleman was telling the Queen where he came from, where they were going to next, and where they'd been to in Britain. And I could see it coming, and sure enough, he said to Her Majesty, and where do you live? <laughs> and she said, well, I live in London, but I've got a holiday home just the other side of the hills. <laughs> And he said, well, how often have you been coming up here? Oh, she said, I've been coming up here ever since I was a little girl, so over 80 years. And you could see the clogs thinking. He said, well, if you've been coming up here for 80 years, you must have met the Queen. I and as it. quick as a flash, she says, well, I haven't, but Dick here meets her regularly. <laughs> so the guy said to me, well, you've met the Queen, what's she like? And because I was with her a long time and I knew I could pull a leg, I said, oh, she can be very cantankerous at times. <laughs> but she's got a lovely sense of humour. Anyway, the next thing I knew, this guy comes around, puts his arm around my shoulder, and before I could see what was happening, he gets his camera, gives it to the Queen, and says, can you take a picture of the two of us? <laughs> anyway, we swapped places, and I took a picture of them with the Queen, and we never let on, and we waved goodbye, and then Her Majesty said to me, I'd love to be a fly on the wall when he shows us photographs to the friends in America.